Don Tatushka. I was a uh, E5 when I got out, a second class IC man. Yeah, it's right now. It's it's more sentimental than it was at the time. At the time, I didn't want to know nothing more about that chip. I just wanted off. But the more you look back at it, the more you realize gee, you were part of that chip. That chip made you what you are now, and uh, it, it's not really something that you can put into words. I mean, I had no hard feelings about leaving it at the time, but I'd give anything to go back to it now. And uh, unfortunately, it's laying in thousands of feet of water now. You know, it had its final mission and uh, did its duty, and now it's at the bottom of the sea. And uh, but uh, to be able to go on the new USS America, I guess that filled somewhat of a void. And, uh, and to get treated like royalty while we were on there by everyone. Uh, visitors on there were taking pictures. Uh, the captain had a, a van and a driver for us when we left and, and uh, had us leave before anybody else. And uh, It was nice to get the respect we got then. Uh, not that we didn't get it before, we got what we earned before, but we also got spit on when we got home, you know, and during Vietnam. It was, yeah, it, it wasn't wasn't a good time to be in the military back then. Uh, it was it was a difficult time in the 60s, and uh, there was a lot of, as everyone knows, it, there was a lot of animosity towards the military, and they took it out on the people that were in it. And that's like we had a choice, you know. We had a choice. We could have gone to Canada, I suppose, but uh, I don't believe true Americans should do that. You know, you, you get called, you got to do it. We put our trust in politicians, and uh, that's the thanks you get. So, but at least now, uh, people are are realizing the sacrifices that the, the military makes. You know, it's uh, it's not easy, especially for the married ones. You know, and uh, you you got to feel for their families. They're the ones that suffer the most. Cause when you're doing your job, you're not really focusing on what's going on back at home. And, uh, so it's uh, it's just what it is, you know. Uh, but I'm really glad to see uh, people are getting uh, the respect they deserve now, you know, for, for what they're putting into it and, and the disrespect that some people still have for the military is mind boggling to me. I mean, if you look and see what they have compared to other countries, and they wouldn't have it if it wasn't for the military. So. But to each his own. I guess that's why we did that, so they had their opinions. So, you know. I just recently went to see on the LHA-6 USS America, which our organization had named. That's why the Secretary of the Navy was at our reunion in 2008, and uh, they invited us on what they call a tiger cruise, and uh, I, I was just amazed, you know, the, at what the Navy has transformed into now, and it's, it's astounding. I, uh, well, for one thing, I think the, the sailors now are a lot smarter than we were. They seem to be. I don't know. Well, with the technology, and, and they're a lot more selective on who they take, and there's women on board. That's something I couldn't wrap my head around because that that was a no-no when we were in, and now I'd say 20 or 30 percent of the crew, maybe more, were female on there. And uh, seems to be working now, though. Everything seems to be going along, but uh, the, the technology on there now is just, just mind-boggling compared to what we, we had. And I, I'm sure the technology we had was equally mind-boggling to the sailors from 40 years before. So. It, Evolution is, is something, and the Navy, in my opinion, turned into more of a corporation now than a military. Uh, everybody dresses the same on board ship. You don't know who's who until you see their, their collar tabs. And uh, it's, uh, it's interesting, but efficient, and our, our Navy is still the best thing out there, and uh, uh, something to be proud of. People that don't get the opportunity to see that are deprived. I mean, they. Uh, they're well protected, let's put it that way. So it's, uh, it's a nice thing.